Hey Sue, what are you doing down here? I came to see what they are doing to the library. What library? It's this place. You've never been in here before. No. Whenever I'm working, it seems like it's closed. You say it's a library? Yeah. See the books over there. It's a plain tree thing. Been here since 2000. And it's really a library? Yes. It's part of the staff and community education department. We have an education department? Yes, Mary. They are the ones that take sick pleasure out of assigning at least a hundred computer courses to us every year. We have to take computer courses every year? Mary, you're scaring me, quit it. Okay. But what do computer courses have to do with the library? Well, for one thing, they are putting six more computer workstations in here, so you can have a quiet place to get your courses done. But that's not much help to me, if it's not open. They are changing that too. They are calling it to Resource Center and it'll be open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. I still don't think it will help me. Why? Because I think I always have questions about that stuff. They thought of that too. And they probably had you in mind when they cooked up this plan. Not only is the place going to actually be open more hours, but the education department is moving its front desk staff from the lobby in here. You mean program registrations? Are they part of education? Yes, Mary. And the program registrations gals, Laurie and Lisa, are going to be staffing the resource center. They are actually going to try to answer all of your questions, God help them. They'll be here for the sole purpose of answering all my questions? No, Mary. They, along with Terry and Phil, will be here to help anyone. Staff, physicians, patients, family, or community members can come use one of these machines and get some basic application help. So did they get rid of the librarian? Mary, don't be a dingbat. I just said that Terry will still be there to help. She's a critical part of this place. The demand for her custom health information searches is huge from physicians, nursing, patients, and even non-clinical staff. Really? Can't anyone find anything online these days? Not everything. Terry can access more than the public. And some people just don't want to wade through at all when she can get the good stuff quick. Okay okay Sue, I think I've got it. The library is now also a resource center. And Lisa and Lori from Program Registrations are now Education Support Techs, along with Phil and Terry, in the library. My oh my, Mary. I think there's hope for you after all.